reviewing Lesson 126 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles, Lesson 126. All that I give is given to myself. All that I give is given to myself. Today's idea, completely alien to the ego and the thinking of the world, is crucial to the thought reversal that this course will bring about. If you believe this statement, there would be no problem in complete forgiveness, certainty of goal, and sure direction. You would understand the means by which salvation comes to you and would not hesitate to use it now. Let us consider what you do believe in place of this idea. It seems to you that other people are apart from you and able to behave in ways which have no bearing on your thoughts nor yours on theirs. Therefore, your attitudes have no effect on them, and their appeals for help are not in any way related to your own. You further think that they can sin without affecting your perception of yourself, while you can judge their sin, and yet remain apart from condemnation and at peace. When you forgive a sin, there is no gain to you directly. You give charity to one unworthy, merely to point out that you are better on a higher plane than he whom you forgive. <laughs> he has not earned your charitable tolerance, which you bestow on one unworthy of the gift, because his sins have lowered him beneath a true equality with you. He has no claim on your forgiveness. It holds out a gift to him, but hardly to yourself. Thus is forgiveness basically unsound, a charitable whim, benevolent yet undeserved, a gift bestowed at times, at other times withheld, unmerited, withholding it is just, nor is it fair that you should suffer when it is withheld. The sin that you forgive is not your own, someone apart from you committed it. And if you are then gracious unto him, by giving him what he does not deserve, the gift is no more yours than was his sin. If this be true, forgiveness has no grounds on which to rest dependably and sure. It is an eccentricity in which you sometimes choose to give indulgently an undeserved reprieve. <laughs> Yet, it remains your right to let the sinner not escape the justified repayment for his sin. Think you the Lord of Heaven would allow the world's salvation to depend on this? Would not his care for you be small indeed if your salvation rested on a whim? You do not understand forgiveness. As you see it, It is but a check upon overt attack, without requiring correction in your mind. It cannot give you peace as you perceive it. It is not a means for your release from what you see in someone other than yourself. It has no power to restore your unity with him to your awareness. It is not what God intended it to be for you. Not having given him the gift he asks of you, you cannot recognize his gifts and think he has not given them to you. Yet would he ask you for a gift unless it was for you? Could he be satisfied with empty gestures and evaluate such petty gifts as worthy of his son? Salvation is a better gift than this. And true forgiveness as the means by which it is attained must heal the mind that gives. Forgiving is receiving. What remains as unreceived has not been given, but what has been given must have been received. Today, we try to understand the truth that giver and receiver are the same. You will need help to make this meaningful because it is so alien to the thoughts to which you are accustomed. But the help you need is there. Give him your faith today. 
and ask him that he share your practicing in truth today. And if you only catch a tiny glimpse of the release that lies in the idea we practice for today, this is a day of glory for the world. Give 15 minutes twice today to the attempt to understand today's idea. It is the thought by which forgiveness takes its proper place in your priorities. It is the thought that will release your mind from every bar to what forgiveness means and let you realize its worth to you. In silence, close your eyes upon the world that does not understand forgiveness and seek sanctuary in the quiet place where thoughts are changed and false beliefs laid by. Repeat today's idea and ask for help in understanding what it really means. Be willing to be taught. Be glad to hear the voice of truth and healing speak to you, and you will understand the words he speaks, and recognize he speaks your words to you. As often as you can, remind yourself you have a goal today, an aim which makes this day of special value to yourself and all your brothers. Do not let your mind forget this goal for long, but tell yourself, All that I give is given to myself. The help I need to learn that this is true is with me now, and I will trust in him. Then spend a quiet moment opening your mind to his correction and to his love. And what you hear of him you will believe, for what he gives will be received by you. That is the magnificent lesson 126. All that I give is given to myself. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.